Chapter 2, Vectors in Space. Introduction. Chapter 2 introduces the topic of vectors in space. Vectors are quantities that have both magnitude and direction and are represented by directed line segments. This chapter covers various sections, including vectors in the plane, vectors in three dimensions, dot product, cross product, equations of lines and planes in space, quadric surfaces, and cylindrical and spherical coordinates. Understanding vectors is essential for solving problems in fields such as physics and engineering. Learning objectives. By the end of this chapter, you should be able to 1. Understand the concept of vectors and their representation in space. 2. Perform vector operations such as scalar multiplication, vector addition, and vector subtraction. 3. Apply the dot product and cross product of vectors in various contexts. 4. Solve problems involving equations of lines and planes in space. 5. Identify and work with quadric surfaces and cylindrical and spherical coordinates. Key points. Vectors have both magnitude and direction and are represented by directed line segments. Vector addition is the operation of combining two vectors to obtain a resultant vector. Vector subtraction is the operation of finding the difference between two vectors. The dot product of two vectors is the sum of the products of their corresponding components. The dot product can be used to find the angle between two vectors and determine if they are perpendicular. Vectors can be expressed in component form using their x, y, and z coordinates. The cross product of two vectors generates a third vector orthogonal to the first two. Real-world application, vectors have numerous real-world applications, especially in physics and engineering. For example, in physics, vectors are used to represent forces, velocities, and accelerations. In engineering, vectors are used to represent forces acting on structures, such as bridges or buildings, and to calculate the resulting forces and moments. Understanding vectors is essential for solving problems in these fields and many others. Conclusion Chapter 2 introduces the concept of vectors in space and covers various topics related to vectors, including their representation, operations, and applications. By understanding vectors and their properties, you will be able to solve problems involving vectors in various contexts, such as physics and engineering. The chapter provides a foundation for further exploration of calculus and its applications. Thank you.